Moby Dick, Chasing the Great White Whale by Eric A. Kimmel, paintings by Andrew Glass. Call me Ishmael. When days start getting long again and time is moving slow, I set out for New Bedford town, a whaling for to go. I checked into the Spouter Inn and shared the only bed with a harpooner named Queequeg. He had a tattooed head. The Pequod was our whaler's name. They seemed a jolly crew with Starbucks stub and flash, the mates, Tashtego and Dagoo. Then Captain Ahab came on deck. What happened to his leg? Twas bitten off by Moby Dick. That's why the whalebone peg. That parma study did me wrong. I'll hunt him through the sea. I promise when we meet again, it's Moby Dick or me. He nailed a doubloon to the mast and said, Look sharp and bold. Whoever spies the white will first will earn this Spanish gold. Now listen how to catch a whale. We row up to its side, then stick a harpoon in its back and hang on for the ride. We cut the blubber from the beast and strip it to the bone. So in the end, Leviathan makes oil for lamps at home. Poor Queequeg started feeling sick, and none of us knew why. We built a coffin just for him, but then he didn't die. We scanned the ocean day by day for any whale in sight. We spied some blue and gray ones too, but not a single white. I seek the white whale, Ahab cried to every passing ship. Until the Rachel came in sight, he'd given us the slip. Their captain wept. He took my boy. Oh, help me find him, friend, said Ahab. Don't have time for boys. My quest is near its end. It won't be long now, Ahab said. We're closing in. He knows. Then from the mast we heard the cry. Ahoy, lad, there she blows. His head rose high above the waves, a matterhorn of white. The angle of his sickle jaw gave everyone a fright. We threw a harpoon at the whale, for he had time to blink. He smacked our whaleboat with his tail and tossed us in the drink. Another day, we tried again. Stubb yelled at us to row. I saw a man caught in the lines and carried down below. On Moby's back, the dead man lay, arising from the sea. His arms swung out to beckon us. Oh, shipmates, follow me. Ahab stood, harpoon in hand. His rage burned like the sun. The weapon struck a tangled line, a shriek, and he was gone. The whale smashed every single boat, enraged and furious. He turned around, a great white mound, and headed straight for us. He ran the Pequod with his head. I heard the sighs and groans of all my ship friends and shipmates going down to Davy Jones. So I am left to tell the tale as floating on the sea, adrift in Queequeg's coffin box, the Rachel rescued me. The moral of the story is, as my sad tale has shown, respect all creatures, great and small, and leave the whales alone. <laughs>